Okay, so let's take a look at the next. Um, okay, the ne okay the next feature that we're going to add to our part are are these features. Um, this piece down here. So these kind of sit in a little bit, and they're actually um, sort of uh, they're, they're kind of aligned slightly with the with, with this with this edge here. So the easiest way to do this, let's go ahead and turn back on that mid plane, that plane that we created um, in the last video. Okay, turn on the visibility, and let's go up here to the the offset. Um, uh, plane here and let's select offset from plane okay click this and so we're going to create another plane based on one that's already existing okay but this time we can offset it you can see that i can create you know it can sit you know it can sit and if i put it at zero it's actually it's, i'm just creating the same plane but if i add you know positive values it's offset this way or negative values is offset in the opposite direction right and the the offset that we want is 30. Okay. It's like that. So now we have an additional plane that that we can work off of. Okay. So we're going to sketch on this plane here. So uh, when you want to sketch on a plane, hover your mouse toward the corner of it so you see the yellow circle. Right click and then start new sketch. And uh, you can see here, let me go back, sorry. You can see that uh, where, our, where our plane is at, we want, um, when we go to draw this piece, you know, our sketch, you know, we're going we're gonna to sketch the outline of it, like you see here. And so we want our outline to snap to this edge here. And in order to do that, you know, right now there's nothing... It, you know, we need some type of line to exist here. So what we're going to have to use is the project geometry, All right? And then we will go to this edge here and left click on it. And so now you see that you see that it's green now. Uh, let me get out of this. Right click, okay? See it's green now, so it's projecting a line on here. So now we can we have a drawing um, when we when we use the line feature, we can snap a line to it. Okay. Otherwise, the line, when we start drawing in this plane, it, it'll go through the part. It won't know where to stop at. So let's get this to here. And actually, we can just, we can go ahead and put this on the right side. And let's turn on the slice feature here. Okay. So now we see exactly, we're looking right at that line. Okay. And let's choose the line feature. And this feature, we all um, will start here. Let's go here. We'll go up. And let's say we'll go up. Um, let's go up about over 15. Left click. Let's get out of this. And let's use the arc feature. I'm going to use the center point arc. And so remember, I want my center to be aligned with the top of the line that I just drew. So you notice that it's aligned. You see the dots. Left click. Then I want to start my arc at the top of this line. So go over here, and you'll know it. You're at the top when it turns green. Left click, and then we want uh, 180 degrees here, half a circle. Left click. Get out of this and go back to line. Then from here, start at the end of our arc, down to our line here. And you can see that it's snapping. To the, well, we want just to be straight. You see that it snaps to the line, Oops. just like this. All right. So let's get out of this, and then let's go ahead and dimension this. Um, so we'll go here, and this time what we want to do is start at the bottom edge. Um, when we go to dimension this, we're going to start at this bottom edge. So left click here, and then we're going to go to the top of this line. Left click again. And so this is the area that we're going to dimension. And we want this. Let's go ahead and make this, what is this, 25. All right. All right, so our, 
it distorts our circle a little bit. We'll fix that. And let's dimension this arc. All right. And we'll make this 9.5. All right, and let's see, then we'll make uh, this here 10. All right, make sure that's straight. All right, so that's, that's good to go. And we'll go ahead and uh, finish the sketch. Go home, make sure we can see this. All right. And then in the then in the next video, then we'll go ahead and extrude. And um, yeah, we'll go ahead and extrude and add the whole feature in the next video.